What is Differin? Differin, adapalene, is a third-generation topical retinoid medication that is used for the treatment of acne vulgaris in patients 12 years of age and older. It works by inhibiting the effects of chemical signals involved in the development of acne lesions. Differin blocks certain enzymes that contribute to the formation of acne. Specifically, it is a retinoic acid receptor, RAR, selective retinoid that works by normalizing keratinization and decreasing inflammation. All about Differin. Differin is available as a gel containing 0.1% adapalene. It comes as a translucent, almost colorless gel in tubes of 15 grams, 30 grams or 45 grams. Different gel should be applied once daily, in the evening, to areas where acne lesions are present or are expected, avoiding the eyes, lips and mucous membranes. Only a pea-sized amount is needed to cover the entire face. Hands should be washed before and after application. Differin works by normalizing the process of skin cell turnover where cells mature and are pushed to the surface of the skin. It reduces inflammation and the number of lesions. Maximum efficacy is generally achieved within 8 to 12 weeks after starting treatment. Improvement may continue for additional time periods as long as application is continued. Differin helps to prevent new lesions from forming in addition to improving existing lesions. Who can and cannot take Differin? Differin gel is intended for topical use on the skin and is not for oral, ophthalmic or intravaginal use. It can be used by patients 12 years of age and older for the treatment of acne. Those who can generally take Differin include adolescents and adults with mild to moderate inflammatory or non-inflammatory acne. It may also be used as maintenance therapy to prevent new lesion formation after improvement is achieved with initial treatment. Those who should not use Differin include individuals with a history of hypersensitivity to any of its components. It should also not be used by pregnant or breastfeeding women due to a possible risk of harm to the fetus or nursing infant. Differin is not indicated for use in children under 12 years old as safety and efficacy have not been established in this age group. How and when to take Differin? As directed by their healthcare provider, patients should apply a pea-sized amount of Differin gel once daily in the evening, after the skin is cleaned and dried. Differin should be applied evenly to cover only the skin areas where acne lesions are present or expected, including the face, chin, chest and back. Hands should be washed before and after application. Excessive application is unnecessary and will not provide faster or better results. Different gel works continuously for 24 hours, so only once daily application is needed. Makeup may be applied after drying, which usually takes 15 to 20 minutes. Sunscreen use with an SPF of at least 15 should be continued during the day as increased sun sensitivity is a known side effect of retinoids. Different treatment should continue for at least 8 to 12 weeks to notice initial results, and application should continue long-term for maintenance benefits. Improvement may be seen as early as 1 to 2 weeks, but maximal clearance takes upwards of 12 weeks. Missing doses may decrease efficacy, so daily application is advised. Side effects of Differin Like other topical retinoids, side effects are very common with Differin but often temporary or mild. Common side effects include skin irritation, dryness, peeling, redness and itching at the application site. Starting application every other day and then building up frequency allows the skin to better acclimate to treatment. Sunburn and increased sun sensitivity are known risks, so daily sunscreen use is advised. To minimize irritation, application should be directly followed by a moisturizer suitable for acne-prone skin. Additional side effects may include eye irritation, stinging, burning or swelling if the gel comes into contact with eyes. Less frequent side effects include skin rash or swollen, red, scaly or crusty skin that spreads beyond the application site. 
If severe irritation occurs, interrupting or reducing different use may help the skin recover. Most side effects decrease over a period of continuous use as the skin adjusts to the medication, generally within the first one to two months. Worsening of acne may also occur initially, but this is usually temporary as clearance follows. Patients should be educated on proper use and maintenance of different therapy. Pregnancy, breastfeeding and fertility when taking Differin. Differin gel is assigned pregnancy category C by the FDA and thus its use during pregnancy should only be considered if the potential benefit outweighs the potential risk. Limited animal studies have found evidence of reproductive toxicity, such as lower fetal body weights and delayed ossification. However, no adequate human studies of safety in pregnancy have been conducted. The potential to cause fetal harm is mainly due to adapalene's ability to interact with retinoic acid receptors, which play an important role in reproduction and development. For this reason, effective contraception should be utilized in women of childbearing potential during different therapy. Breastfeeding is also not recommended due to potential adverse reactions in nursing infants from low levels of differin detected in breast milk. Regarding fertility, Studies have shown no adverse effects on fertility or general reproductive performance in animals given dermatological drugs, oral doses of adapalene well in excess of the recommended topical human dose. Although limited data is available, adverse effects on human male or female fertility are generally considered unlikely. Caution is warranted for both pregnancy and breastfeeding. However, effects on fertility appear minimal to non-existent. Administration of Differin with other medications Differin can generally be safely combined with most prescription acne medications or aesthetic products, but certain potential additive drug interactions warrant mention. Use with other topical acne treatments containing alcohol, menthol, spice extracts and astringents should be approached with caution, as these ingredients may further increase irritation. Combining differin with topical or systemic antibiotics like clindamycin or tetracyclines may help improve efficacy but increase photosensitivity risk as well. Co-administration of adapalene and oral retinoids like isotretinoin is not recommended. Together the potency of retinoid activity is increased which heightens side effects and photosensitivity. Daily sunscreen and moisturizer use become even more vital with combined retinoid products. Differin should also not come into direct contact with benzoyl peroxide, sulfacetamide or resorcinol prior to application. Short wait times between applications of these agents allows them to be combined for treatment if necessary, but direct mixing is unfavorable. Overall compatibility usually improves with gradual introduction of concomitant medications over weeks to adapt the skin. General questions about Differin Some common patient questions about Differin include duration of treatment, how long until results are seen, time to achieve full clearance, effects of acne recurrence after stopping, usage during facial procedures or waxing, effects on menstruation, use during sports or excess sweating and general maintenance therapy. Treatment duration with Differin is usually a minimum of 12 continuous weeks to achieve initial improvement with ongoing long-term use for full or maintained clearance. Some mild results may become apparent after one to two weeks, but maximum efficacy takes two to three months. After stopping adapalene, existing acne lesions usually resolve fully, but new lesions may periodically flare up again in some patients. Use as indicated should continue during waxing, laser, or other aesthetic treatments after skin healing. Differin does not usually significantly impact menstruation. It can continue to be used as tolerated during physical activity or sweat provocation after the initial adjustment period, but extra sun protection and moisturizing are prudent. Many patients transition to maintenance therapy applying two to three times weekly to prevent relapse once desired results are achieved. Patient education and compliance remain key factors for optimal outcomes with Differin. In summary, 
Different 0.1% gel has demonstrated therapeutic effectiveness and remains an important first-line topical option in the treatment of mild to moderate acne vulgaris. Temporary irritation is common during initial use but often resolves with continued application. Adhering to the appropriate dosing instructions and balancing different therapy with moisturizing and protecting the skin from UV damage optimizes both safety and effectiveness. Differin continues to serve as a well-established frontline prescription treatment for acne of varying severity levels in adolescents and adults. Overall tolerability, low potential for systemic effects and targeted mechanism of action further support its role as a suitable therapeutic option for most patients with acne.